Hi, beautiful brides. Um, I wanted to sing uh, Chris Tomlin's Good Good Father tonight. I feel like the Lord was leading me to do that. Any of you guys out there have daddy or mommy issues? I, I think a lot of us do. Um, growing up, you know, my dad wasn't, and that wasn't that, I wasn't very close to him. He was a raging alcoholic, violent drunk, kicked my sister across the room, he used to beat the snot out of us. Um, I almost killed my mom twice. You know, I came downstairs one time when I was five, my mom says I saved her life. I was on top of her drunk, you know, smacking her on the side of the head with the handle of his pistol. And I remember seeing her and you know, she was like in a puddle of blood and she got up and we ran upstairs. And so it wasn't the best, uh, it was a very dysfunctional family. Um, and I talked about this in, in other videos, but um, you know, my, my dad never sexually abused me, which I think is far worse than physical abuse, but I'm just saying, I guess that left an impression on me and I, I wasn't very close to my father. I had a lot of anger against my dad and I, I kind of grew up with a grudge. And um, you know, he was, it, it left a hole in my heart, you know, a, a love hunger. I always wanted a man to just be gentle and kind with me, you know, like my daddy could have been. And um, the good news is, is that in the end of his life, um, the last few weeks of his life, my, my dad had cancer. And I was in his hospital room one night and we prayed together and you know, he asked me to forgive him and in tears and I did and um, I asked him to forgive me. You know, it wasn't all his fault. I, I rebelled, I, I was a jackass of a kid. I, I, I was a bad, rebellious kid who got into all kinds of trouble. You know, shoplifting and picked up by the cops. And So it wasn't all my daddy, but I had to, I had to let go of this grudge and I had, to, I had to forgive and I had to, and I'm so grateful that I had a chance to make things right before he passed on, but, um, and I'll never forget that night, he said kind words to me. He said, Carly, you're beautiful. He called me beautiful. And just to hear my dad say a soft, kind word to me, you know, a gentle, kind word, it made me cry. <laughs> and um, a lot of us are like that, you know, if we grew up in, in a dysfunctional family, Maybe we had a father or a mother who wasn't there for us. Or maybe they were abusive or neglectful. And it leaves a hunger, a love hunger inside of us. It leaves a hole, a mommy or daddy sized hole, shaped hole inside of us. And, and we look for that all of our lives. And you know, Satan can even use that against us to get us into inappropriate relationships and, and entice us, you know, we, we're still constantly looking for that love we didn't get from our daddy or that love we didn't get from our mommy and you know sometimes if someone acts paternal or maternal to us and they're gentle and kind and sweet you know they've got us eating out of their hand but but what i like is the fact that god you know he's the word says he's a, a father to the fatherless and i believe he's also a mother to the motherless and you know, he's both he's creator he's maker and he has the ability to be everything to us that we need. And when I, <clears throat> when I worship to the song, I just close my eyes and my Heavenly Father, he is that Father, that kind, that gentle Father that and he fills that emptiness in me for that kind of love. And uh, so I just wanna encourage you to worship him tonight. And if you have mommy issues, daddy issues, if there's a, a daddy shaped hole or a mommy shaped hole in your soul, <laughs> let God fill it. Let him fill it. Because he's a perfect father. And he's a perfect mother. And he loves us so much. It's right, Sebastian. <laughs>
to you. Even if he didn't have one here on earth, your father in heaven is a good, good father. And if you didn't have a mother here on earth, he's a good, good mother too. <laughs> right, Sebastian? He loves you so much. With a father's love, with a mother's love. So many different ways, a best friend, a companion, a soulmate, a lover, a spouse, a husband. He's God. We can't put him in a box. He's everything. He's able to love us in just the way we need, in a hundred different ways. And he loves you. Just, I pray you receive that tonight. If, if there's some of you out there, there's, there's an emptiness in you. If there's a love hunger inside of you, close your eyes and let him fill it up tonight. 